Okay. No. That's not helping the five minutes. All right. So on the bottom of that page, you've got zero, one fourth, one half, three fourths, and one whole. Right? Yep. So if I said the fractions every quarter from zero between zero and one, you would put zero, one half, three fourths. Right? Okay, bottom of the top of the next page. If I have decimals, it says represent decimals from 0 0.1 to 0 0.9, from 1 tenth to 9 tenths on a horizontal number line, use an interval from between 1 hundredths for each. Is this the right page? Yeah. Um, from 1 tenth to 9 tenths. 1 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Do you think you guys are going to get tired of writing number lines by the end of this chapter? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to be so tired of it. <laughs> All right. Um, so it said. From, yeah, it said from 0 0.1 to 1, 0 0.9, so that means we're doing what? Yeah. All of them or just the ones in between? All in between. All of them? From 0 0.1 to 0 0.9. Okay. All of them are in between? All of them. All of them. All right. Then we've got, so we've got guided practice there. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Um, we're gonna have you guys do five, six, and nine. So we're just gonna skip seven and five, six, nine, and I'm gonna have some people come up here to do. Who wants to do five? We're gonna have some people come up here. You can do five. You can do six. You can do nine. Yeah. I got the best part. Okay. Go ahead. You guys got. Three minutes. Five, six, and nine. Actually, make that two minutes. Five, six, and nine. Go. All right. Come on up. Number five. May pay attention if it says horizontal or vertical number line. Why are we out of our desks? No. How many sections is this being split into? That will help you with the fractions. How many sections is, is this? So you're going from zero. Actually, from decimal, it would be more challenging. Because this ends up being a repeating decimal. Oh, I used to give it to it. That means it's not going to be one half, one quarter. It's split in how many different sections? This is one section. That's two sections. That's three sections. So that means the first fraction is going to be. If it's put into three sections, the first section is going to be one third. There you go. There's your first one. Zero, one third. Ten twenty-five. Ten twenty-four. Zero. Oh yeah, sorry, you got it, you got it, you got it. I, I, I just saw your one was small and I thought you were just doing one third again.
One thing, if you're trying to tell yourself, that's not going to work on the desk. You can do it on the carpet or not at all. What's one thing if you are justice or if you're you guys on your paper? What advice would you give yourself? What problem do you run into? What what would you get? What would you make sure you give yourself so that you don't run into the same problem? Yeah. What? Yeah. More space. Always err on the side of giving yourself more space rather than less. Okay. Good. All right. Number six. Is who had six? You? Okay, mixed numbers greater than ten but less than eleven. Let's do it together. Who has seven? We did five, six, and nine. We're not doing seven and eight in class. Who has six? I don't know. I have nine. Okay, greater numbers, volume. Okay, your knees need to be underneath your desk. It's not working for you, meaning you'd be facing away all the time. Um, so greater numbers, mixed numbers greater than 10, but less than 11. Use an interval of 1 fourth. So the first fraction should be? Yeah. One, one Can I do it? Just a second. I need everybody else to also understand. The first fraction should be what? If the intervals are 1 fourth. One fourth. What? Nope. If they're broken up into intervals of one fourth, don't overthink this. What's the first one? You're at ten, you add a fourth, now you're at. No. If you add one fourth to ten, here's ten, you add one fourth to it. What does it become? Ten and one fourth. Don't overthink it. This is ten and one fourth. Next number? Ten and two fourths. Ten and two fourths. Ten and three fourths. And ten and four fourths. Is there any, why is there no ten and four fourths? Because, because it it's turns 11. into eleven. Because it's eleven. Now, here's a pro tip for you. If you're going from one whole number to the other, if you're going from one whole number to the other, how many hash marks? So we put one, two, three marks in there. Why do we put only three marks in there? If it's being divided into four different sections, uh -huh. yeah. Because there's three gaps or four yeah. gaps in it. There's there's four gaps in there. Look, gap number one, gap number two, gap number three, gap number four. Does that happen every time that way? No. Yes, it does. Well, like not. If you four. anytime you're gonna split it up to how many ever sections? If you split it into four sections, you draw three dashes. If you split it into two sec two sections, you draw one dash. If you split it into a hundred sections, you draw ninety nine dashes. And every every fraction that is going to go up by that incremental amount every time. Wow. Yep. Wow. All right, last one, number nine. Decimals greater than eight but less than twelve. Using an interval of zero point eight between each pair of decimals. Huh? Greater than eight. You allow yourself to do so this. eight point zero. Did you? But less than 12. If you know you have you've had spacing errors with things before, what might you want to do instead of doing it right away here? Yeah. You could do that. Yeah. You'll probably want to put the lines first. Uh, maybe, but we don't know how many how many of the spaces there's going to be in between. So what might we run into at the end with the 12? We might either have way too much space or way too little, way too little space. So I, I'm going to put the 12.0 up here because I know I'm trying to get there, but I'm not there yet. So 8.0 plus 0 0.8 is? Um, 16.0. Yeah? 8.8. Wait a minute. All right, plus another point, 0 0.8. Somebody else. 9.6. 9.5. Nope. Bro, I literally just said it. Okay, the bra. No. I said the hand. Yeah, 9.6 plus another 0 0.8. Yeah? 
Yep, 10.4. Plus another 0.8. Yep. 11.2. Plus another 0.8. Yeah. Did we, did we did we end up getting to twelve by ourselves? Yeah. Yes, we did. Now, what is the question asking us to do? It says decimals greater than eight ten eight eight point zero, but less than twelve point zero. So, are we including eight and twelve or not? Yeah. No, because it said greater than this, but less than twelve point zero. All right, and we're done. Yeah.